Hello and in today's Pick Microcontroller Assembly we are going to be covering the memory organization of the Pick Microcontroller, specifically the Pick 16F877A microcontroller. Here is the memory map of the Pick 16F877A. Now you'll see this is PC. Now PC stands for the program counter. Then we have eight stack levels for the pick microcontroller and we have three pages of flash now this flash is where your program is going to physically sit on the pick microcontroller and then we have a section up here which is the reset vector and the interrupt vector now any program that runs will start at the reset vector so you'll typically see a go to instruction on your reset vector to jump past the interrupt vector now the program counter or PC is what tells the PIC which instruction to sit and execute. So the program counter will on reset start at 0, 0 then typically you'll have a go to which will change the program counter and then jump to another line. It can jump to anywhere until 1FF. H. The program counter will just go sequentially 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, wherever, until you tell the program counter I want to jump somewhere else. And then the stack levels, we have 8 levels of stack. And this is a dedicated call stack. So the only way to modify the stack is by calling one of these functions. Typically, you will see call, and then call will push onto the stack, and then return will pop off the stack. So it just stores memory addresses. And then we have rectify, which is specifically return from interrupt. And then you have return with literal, which that effectively functions the same as returns and then we have the data memory organization this is your ram the data memory and ram is effectively synonymous for simplification and it is using static ram in this particular pic microcontroller and this pic microcontroller is divided into four different banks that have a range of 128 bytes so 7f in hex we can see the register map file which is effectively the RAM so you have bank 1 that has all these registers in here and then you have general purpose bytes in each bank so the general purpose registers you can use for anything you would like so to switch between banks you need to use the status register you'll see rp1 and rp0 now this is direct bank accessing if you write 00 you'll be addressing bank 0 01 bank 1 10 bank 2 11 bank 3 and then we have a nice feature which is the access Bank. Now, if you address any of these registers, they automatically get put into bank zero. So this minimizes the amount of time you need to spend switching between banks. So anything from 7H to 7F gets put into that section of bank zero, regardless of which bank you have selected. And then we can skip down to section 15, which is the instruction set summary. The instruction set summary, we can see the general format for instructions. So this is the physical ones and zeros of the instructions we are going to be putting onto the PIC microcontroller. So whatever we are going to be putting into Flash. You can see each instruction is 14 bits wide. So we first have the opcode, which is the instruction type. We have the destination bit and then the file. The file is the uh, register file and register is basically synonymous but the general thing here is it is 14 bits wide for a for any given instruction we go back to the memory map You'll see since it's 14 bits wide, the program counter will count in twos. Your program counter will be sitting at zero, execute the instruction at zero, then it will go to position two, execute the instruction at position two, then four, then six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, and so on and so forth. So on each even number, your instruction will be placed. And that's a general overview of the memory map of a PICMA 
microcontroller. A like, share, comment and subscribe will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Have a nice day.